What is happening guys, Tech Racked here. And today we have this brand new, uh, fully functional laptop computer that we destroyed in our last video. But it's obviously still fully functional. Let's just turn it on. Fully functional as you can see, just some minor dings and nicks. So today we're gonna be showing you how to repair a computer like this so you can use it every day. Cause sometimes this won't work exactly fully functional but most of the time it's fully functional. So we just want to make it sure 100% fully functional. So let's check this out, guys. Okay. So we're just, I have this prying prong tool right here, a thing my dog. And what I'm gonna be doing is just prying some of these majiggers out. So I got one of them. We have to get all of them, guys. That's the first step, is to get all of them off. But, you know, we don't really need to do that today. We can save that for another time. But, you know, you get the idea. We just want to prong all of the majiggers off. And then, but this is the big majigger that we have to get off. Sorry guys, we had we heard a bomb go off in the area, so we just wanted to make sure that everybody is sound and safe. So what we're going to be doing, you know, fixing and fully repairing this computer so it's fully functional 1000% of the time. Because right now it's only about 99. So we're just going to prong all these thingies off. Okay, you get the idea. But this is the big prong majigger that we have to get out. This might take a little bit of work, but... It's all worth it once we make our computer fully functional. So there we go. I just have to bend this just a little bit. And we got it. Okay, guys. So now that all of the majiggers are... Now we better get this one out. That was a... Remember to get the L button out. That's the important one. So we're going to be pronging the keyboard out now. So the first thing that we want to do... So you get your prong, and you just jab it in there, and just prong it out, and then you grab your hand, and you just rip it out. So there you go, guys. Now you have a nearly fully functional device. But what we want to repair right here, guys, is the main puncture tube. So this is how you do it. You just grab this, and you go like this. No, bomb! <laughs> Sorry guys, we got another bomb alert um, on our uh, manicular device. So what we just want to do guys, um, is we have to, as we said, we want to grab our launch tool and we're just going to stab the computer right in the vein. The brain. That's Ukrainian for brain. So this is the earlobe right there. And this is the face. No, this is the face. This is the face, and this is the earlobe. So what we want to do, guys, is this is the other earlobe. So what we want to do, guys, is just stab. We want to get the face up, or we can also stab it from the earlobe, or this earlobe. But the best solution is to stab it right in the face. But we want to try all of them today, guys, so to give you guys an idea, you know, I'm not doing this for me, guys, I'm doing this for you. So, you can know how to stab your own computer in the face someday, when you need it. So we're just gonna... crocheting this one up. Or we can go from the face, which is what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so that's not working, guys. So, um, I think we have to just, um, manhandle this thing into the brain. That was a solid hit, guys. Let's check it out. As you can see, the impact zone right there. There's the impact zone. Right there. Now let's give it one more small to medium hit right here. That was a good one, guys. 
check it out. Oh, now we can use our mudjing. What we're going to want to do is just stab this right here. Right here, guys. Right in the earlobe. If you can go again from both earlobes and also in the brain. So we're going to go for the earlobe this time. Okay, so we got the earlobe dismantled. We're just gonna wash it. Okay, now we got it moshed. We're just gonna mosh it from this side. That needs to go away. Mosh it from right here. This looks like the best spot to mosh it for your future reference. Just gonna mosh it here. Okay, now we're gonna need to dust the marker right real quick because this is really irritating you guys. It just won't fix itself. So what we have to do with this thing is just throw it up in the air and then no 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 no. Never mind. Okay, this is what we have to do, guys. Have to do. So just take your keyboard, and you want it to be symmetrical to the screen, guys. So just take this, take the keyboard from right here, and we're just gonna bend it just a little bit. And we're gonna have to prong that one off. And we're just gonna put it right there, guys. Okay. Actually, no. just mosh it. Just mosh it a little bit. Ooh, got a good mosh right there. So we're just gonna make a puncture. Has a nice medium hit right on the medium impact zone. And you can see it went all the way through, guys. All the way through fully functional device. So now let's just put that right there. And so right now, guys, you have it pretty functional. So right now it's gonna be about 10 million percent of the time but we wanted at 10 trillion so we're just gonna put it right there and then you have to put all of these in place perfectly exactly where they were so you're gonna want to write this down guys so guys look I just want to show you the effect of these buttons on this magic boom guys look at that now you have a 10 trillion guys this isn't this isn't working but guys, this isn't this isn't working. This isn't listening to me. It's just being a meanie. So you know what we have to do to meanies? Just rip them apart. Was it a bomb? So the bomb actually blew up this section of the computer. So now we can actually look at making it repairable. That was nice medium hit there. Bomb. bomb! 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 So guys, you have to be real quiet. Um, the bombs are targeting us. So, we're gonna want to drop this real quick. So, but as you can see, to make it fully functional, we're gonna want to grab this wire and just follow it through very carefully, very carefully and neatly and then just rip it off. Just rip it off very carefully and neatly, guys. And then you're going to want to take this. And you want to just grab it out. Just grab it. And twist it. Because this is just a minor part of the computer. <laughs> and it's not very important. So as you see, now we have all the important parts in there. But we're going to want to get uh, this section, which is already unhooked. So that section is fine. That's just the processor, guys. We don't need that nut buddy anymore. So now we're gonna wanna prong, uh, prong this, these out and this out. So then all we'll have left is the most important. Okay, guys, so now the bomb went off directly on the computer. So now it's completely bent. Now let's just bring it over here. Bomb, 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 bomb. So now, 
um, we're looking pretty good now, guys. We got uh, all of the main parts that were hindering our computer in the first place, the hard drive. Um, we don't need that buddy anymore. Um, we will need this. And uh, now that this buddy is unplugged, that was the main cancer of the computer. So now we just need to bend it just fully because now it's bent like a 180 degree angle. We just want to bend it to three. So we're just going to pull, we don't need that. Um, we don't need that either, but. I'm gonna prong this right off, guys. So now this is dismantled as well. So these are the last thing we need to take out. This is the second most important thing, are these thingies. What we're gonna need to do for this, very carefully and methodically, just grab it and then smash it in the ground. So then we're gonna need to bend it, guys. So now that everything's all solved. I'm just gonna need to bend it real quick, guys. So I think just stepping on it just a little bit. Now you have it at the perfect degree angle. And now we're gonna wanna bend our keyboard. This is how you know it's at the perfect degree angle. That's when this number says L. So, of course, we need to prong a few more of those, those thingies off real quick. Okay, that's a cool one right there. Okay, buddy, you might need that one. So we're just gonna slide this one. Upper and over, right. And then we're gonna need this one. That's the hard drive. We're gonna need this one off to the side. And then we're gonna need this one to make sure you know it's a brand new, fully functional, no scratches, dings, or nicks, a third computer. So we're just gonna pop that one right there. And we're just gonna grab our screen real quick. So we got the screen working, guys. So, here, Slave, would you just click a click the on button real quick? Wow, that is absolutely amazing, guys. I cannot believe it's not it's working right now. Fully functional, brand new Acer computer, laptop functional. We have this symmetrical bent keyboard screen computer. And we're just gonna put that there. And now we got this. And with all of the nasty components disassembled, this is what's running our computer now. We don't need this. That's just for the losers. We don't need, we don't need this, guys. The computers are selling us crap. We don't need this. We're spending millions and trillions and billions and trillions of dollars on things that we don't need. So now we have all the stuff that we need, which is this. So this is the main component that we're gonna need is this right here. This is how we get, and uh, now we also need this. And the plastic is very integral. So we also need this to run the computer because this is good and the other stuff is bad. That's running computer. So now, now we have this fully functional and we just wanna show you the results of this video. So we have this. As we said before, symmetrical, Acer, hard, just like that. And we're just gonna assemble this, and this is the crap that the computer companies are selling us on a daily basis that we do not need. So we just shove that over there. And these are the final results of the video, guys. And we see the screen. We have the screen right here. We have the screen right here. It's obviously fully functional. And you can see that this is all we need. This is all we need to run a functional computer. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. And peace out.